guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. We are hours away from the new update, of course. So we have we or we are expecting five star series two be dropping in about roughly 24 hours from now depending on the length of the update but before all that for those of you who are planning to join this game i uh, just want to give you guys more information about me i have been playing uh, regarding this game of course i have been playing this since day one so day one player we are about to reach one year in probably the next few months uh we started this game july 20th 2023rd so it's right around the corner for um for the one year anniversary of the game definitely you have to be there you have to play this game by that time because i'm sure they will be giving out again a free operative as i i think i heard for the anniversary we already got um this girl we, we got enya five star for free already so Again, there are a lot of happenings in this game. A lot of gifts giving away. Speaking of gifts, um, the game hasn't been giving us any gifts and code, but they have directly been giving them in the inbox of your in-mail or, or your in-game <laughs> in inbox. So don't worry, we don't have codes, but we get gifts from our in-game mail. Okay, so that is that. By the way, guys, if you weren't here during the earlier days of this game, eh, we had a little bit of energy. Now it's 240. I think way back before it was 200 or 180, if I could recall. I forgot already. So a um, lot of optimizations in this game happened from day one up to now. And... I'll give you guys a, um, some possible you know, optimizations coming in. One of the optimization uh, coming in June onwards is going to be... Uh, they're planning to... I, I just saw this update. They're either going to, to give us a, a choice or an option to have a 50-50 um, banner rate, um, successful rate for a banner but with limited pulls guaranteed pulls is going to be at 80 so 50 50 for the orange tier operative they will give us also a choice another choice if for example if you have a banner the other choice is going to be a hundred percent um rate up for the pity but the pity is going to be at a hundred so two choices for future banners for future limited banners is going to be 50 50 the current one at 80 pulls the hundred percent uh guarantee you get that operative but it's going to be at 100 pulls pity so it's going to be your choice that is what we have um read in the community i'm not sure you know don't don't quote me on it really being happening but it has been out there it has been discussed so those are the developments in the future me um i think it's good it gives the player base a you know a um, choice whether to go with a 50 50 or the 100 depending on the number of pulls that they are planning to pull so th those are the updates um i'm going to go to the tips in a while so please bear with me guys limited weapon parts is going to be part of that um limited these are more for your whales and your for your mid spenders uh, free character for the anniversary as i mentioned uh please do um play the game now get your feet wet um wait till the anniversary and get another free character by that time releasing of wedding dresses is also one of the things that the community has been waiting for new multiplayer content uh, i assume it's more of a permanent thing um, in terms of new multiplayer content, uh, we do lack the permanent content in this game. Uh, but again, they improved on the other aspects as well. So possible new weapon types is being explored as well. So we could have our Gatling gun. We could have rocket launcher. We could have, I don't know, uh, what other, you know, what other weapon types that we or the devs would able to think of. But more or less, those are the possible optimizations from june onwards today is may 
I think it's May 29th. So tomorrow is going to definitely going to be the update day. So June is nearing or is 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 right around the corner. Um, first of the discussion, I'm gonna go right through the discussion for um, new players here. We have for a new player. This is by the way my new player account. I played this a while just to get a feel of what really the new players would be experiencing. So we do have in the events. There are crucial banners here or crucial things that you should, you know, uh, take note. This is going to be the elite recruitment. This is a selector banner. Okay. So you can clear, uh, if you clear the story 4-12, then you can select from this banner. Take note, the priorities for the selection have changed based on the recent tier list that I'll be putting out uh probably in the next few you know few hours or a few minutes from this video um and also from the start from day one up to now so the priority right now would be yao okay no other choice um because for fenny here fenny's good don't get me wrong but fenny in terms of the support that she has with the new characters our new operative she doesn't have that much support right now in the meta or in the game itself uh, i would rather pick her a second if you're gonna be getting yao first choice and if you don't want a sniper rifle um yao is still one of the best dps especially for beginning or you know the beginning stages of the game uh fanny would be your second because again she has dipped really in terms of dps capacity but a lot of players love her don't get me wrong um i like her as well and the last choice uh i wouldn't go with life i wouldn't go with her you could go with marion swift she's an easier sniper snipe sniper rifle operative to use um those are my recommendations yeah would be you know your top priority definitely hands down you can develop her even without you can use still user even without the new operatives that we are currently having in the game so definitely yeah would give you a big head start the other um thing that we are uh not this one this one traces in the snow so this one is another yao she's four star we get her if you don't have her in the early stages of the pulls then definitely you can have her here one of the best healers that we have after you get yao in the seventh day of logging in um you can actually get her weapon here this action this weapon increases her healing so definitely get her there then get her weapon here so you could have probably one of the best supports in the game to start with the best one of the best healers she's no longer the best healer right now but one of the best healers definitely a beginner would like to have the other one is going to be um we have a beginner banner here the beginner banner has a less you know number of tickets to be spent it's only going to be eight and it's going the pity is going to be at 50 pulls so i still have 10 here let's do um technically eight pulls here or 10 pulls i'm not sure how to oh do have a gold or a orange tier ready let us see who we got here um i did really prepare enough uh i was just hoping i actually was hoping that i would get somebody here in this video uh because i'm at you know 30 near 40 and pity is going to be a 10 so i'm sure the, this banner will be gone as soon as i get the orange tier operative here and who might i have okay suspense is killing me it's gonna be fenny coronet which is actually nice because i need i think for now for my banner for my account i do have oh so no it's still here so you can still pull but the pity count is gone it's at the uh, what do you call this it's at zero slash 50. okay so 20 percent of remaining pulls no we only have 10. so after the next 10 pull basically this get this banner will be gone so it's not a guarantee anymore. You already got the guarantee. 
So again, this is more for me a one-time thing if you are a beginner. So uh, character pulls, you have selector for Yao, uh, finishing a couple of um, story missions, beginner banner, which is this one, and Yao log in for four star and her weapon to have a very good support. So with that said, this is my lineup really for this beginner account. So my sniper here is Marion Swift. I got her in the previous pulls. Um, then we, I did get Enya as a free character. Then I got recently her, Fanny. So not bad starting unit to start. So I have a mob sweeper, not really mob sweeper, but she also is a big DPS damage dealer. Not really mob sweeper, sorry, but I do need more mob sweepers here, but she will do definitely. Um, you have Akasha. Uh, redacted could be your mob sweeper and you have mine as well for your dps damage dealer so again a, a very decent account uh if you have these um operatives a very decent account so those are for the characters tips other tips for progress so as a beginner just to progress through the story open up you know open up content if you don't progress through the story you can't open up content and you can't farm these babies here these are your digicash so you have to open up content and you know just go through the motions of the game supernova here is a good um guide on your progress as you can see so you have this is seven days it's going to be opening in you know in a few days fully open but if you are able to clear then you'll be getting digicash here so getting also tickets here for you to get and the weapon of course so go through the story without question um as you start um character upgrades let's go to character upgrades here so character up upgrades um it's very tricky it's um very very um you will sorry you will need a lot of silver buck just to upgrade one character because you will need them in a lot of things like for example the weapon when you train a weapon you'll need silver buck when you do manifestations no of course but there are a lot of things like for example if you level them up here you'll need a lot of silver buck when you open up other abilities like for example logistics you'll need silver buck as well um neuronics i think you'll need i uh, know you don't need silver buck there but again if you get my drift silver buck is going to be the key in leveling up most of your um what do you call this your operative although you'll be needing other like for example you'll be needing these uh materials here you can farm them you can buy them in the store you can actually i'm gonna gonna give you tips on what to farm daily the store in a while but definitely silver buck is going to be reserved for your priority operatives don't spend them left and right just upgrading everybody so again please make sure that you are saving those for your priority uh operatives also please bear in mind as you if, you, if you're asking yourself what are the recommended you know things to equip or recommended uh, as you can see recommended logistics here then most of or all of the operatives have the game's recommended weapon logistics for purple and uh, weapon and logistics for orange so these are just starter recommendations if you don't want to be bothered by guides you can check it here if you want guides really on what the player thinks because some of them are not really that accurate um, you can actually go through YouTube and check out the guides there. You can check out my guides. You can check out the other um, content creators' guides, of course, uh, for you to compare as well. So, those are the recommended, um, what they call the recommended weapons for and recommended logistics. So you can check them out there because again, some people don't know where to, you know, to find it. Also, if you are building a team, I'm assume that you're asking me what is the quick way to build a team uh you have three operatives you can actually build um, a dps character first 
the other one is support and the other one could be a healer that is what beginners usually you know uh build their teams around so what i have here is marian i could actually have enya here to support her um in terms of buffs enya has heals as well but i would if you really you know like another healer you can actually wait for yao to have so you get marian for your dps enya five star for your support and if i get um yao for start to more for the for as a healer then she will be my third for the healer so eventually you'll be needing two at least two teams to build to clear some of the content in this game definitely um there are a lot of guides after you begin the game on how to build your teams this is the most simplest way on how to build your team for now okay so under operations guys so this is we we usually farm our you know our, our our goodies here our materials resources whatever you may call them so usually the hardest stages usually yield you the best rewards or the most rewards so um this one you can actually clear this for free because it's zero so as you can see they haven't cleared it yet but as you move along again the hardest is abyss it yields you the best rewards and the most rewards most of the time uh ratio versus energy so just clear up to where you can clear then the rest will follow okay so that's operation next we're going to be talking about is personal file so personal file um usually for personal file you'll be given um I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna switch to my other account so that you could appreciate it more. Once you unlock this, you can unlock this in stage three dash one. So I'll be back. Okay, guys. So this is my main account. So as you can see, personal file is open. So every day, this is what you do. Do not forget this because um, these are, you know, this is the only, you know. I think this is the most this is the cheapest way that you can farm for shards so if you have unlocked a operative let's say for example i have already unlocked in my other account i've already unlocked um where is she okay marion swift so marion swift for you to be able to farm her shards you have to go through um the content for her up until you can reach the last part so every operative that you have already you cannot you cannot you cannot actually farm for operatives for shards of operatives that you don't have so if you have an operative you can farm them daily here you could go to the last one if you've cleared all the content you can actually auto clear this and get two copies of each operative that you have max two operatives per day because each operative consumes six memory chip per operative okay so six plus 12 you can actually summon two for each uh, operative in a maximum two operatives every day so take note of that but usually when we have events memory chip um the game gives us extra memory chips so you can i would suggest is probably farm for memory chips for at least three three operatives if they give you extra if you they don't give you extra through the in-game mail then just farm for two okay so those are my recommendations for um personal file again this is going to be crucial as you level your characters up some of them i just leveled up through the shards although i got copies but eventually if you are able to let's go to some of the operatives here that i have farmed um already so for um life we have i already am, am at full manifestation so basically that says that i have stopped farming for life i have moved on to the other operative so you can fully level up the manifestations of your operatives in the um what do you call this in the personal file definitely a good way on how to do it but you have to do it on a daily basis okay we also get free energy guys 
through the quartermaster every day so if you go here I already got the free daily energy for my main account so this refreshes daily please get it it's an extra energy for you but take note do not do do not use your free energy every day make sure you have saved them up here as i can see as you can see i've saved a lot so but some are expiring so please use them if they are expiring because they you might lose them in your inbox but save them for once uh, a, a a new account not new account a new update has come out so please make sure that you you know you you really use your one day um one day energy but for the rest that they have two two days left or nine days left make sure that you reserve them for the incoming event like what is happening tomorrow because you might use that extra energy to farm for resource materials if you don't have for the new operative that you might get for that event so that is actually my tip um event shop here this is usually event shops are similar for from event to event and character to character so make sure that you are farmed you have farmed out the orange ones uh, you can actually farm this out, but this is actually the last one. This is just aesthetic. But farm those orange thingies here. You can actually farm also the guns, especially if you don't intend to to summon for the the orange tier gun. You can use. Um, you can actually get the the purple tier um, guns here. You could actually farm for purple tier items here. Especially this one. This is very the ultimate certification is actually very, very rare to farm. Um, farm as you need. Farm the orange, then the rest farm as you need. For the unlimited, of course, you're gonna be needing to farm for the limited time logistics for the characters coming in during the updates. Also get them here. Um, there are two characters in this update, so definitely I have here a lot of new. No, no, actually, we have nine new logistics because there are three characters, two new and one rerun. So that is why this is filled. But my point is farm for, you know, farm for the right logistics for your character that's come out. So use them here as well. So limited and unlimited. We go now to your basic shop. The basic shop is actually is actually also one that most players don't don't remember but this you need to farm daily as well um i would suggest usually the the ones that are here on the daily basis if you're a beginner farm for this one the fiber axon if you're a beginner you'll need a lot of these because these are for the neuronics of your operatives um also these are very good you have monopolar fibers and fiber and, and advanced certification and hydrocarbon plastic is also good farm as you as you know as your resources are available do not farm everything do not over farm this first page okay so that is it mostly that i farm the other rarities i don't most of the time on a daily basis i at least get one from here so that is it for this one um the underground purge the best farm here would be the carbon automatic plate and uh, sometimes the ultimate certification depending on need as well um revision application i haven't really gotten from much from the store because it's too expensive at 300 you usually get a lot of revision application during events so i don't bother to get them here neural simulation shop also i don't farm for copies here these are too expensive what i get is the quantum cell <coughs> excuse me quantum cell that's it and i move on most of the time or fiber axon if i need more for neuronics so also this one for the um, this currency this is your reward code <coughs> you get the reward codes usually when you do summons it's like a refund system so select um, this is for your limited banner this is for regular banner i usually use this for 
the limited banner and also the limited weapon the limited weapon is by the way new so farm these because especially if you're you're after a specific operative on a limited basis then the limited um limited weapon and limited um, what do you call this limited operative summon ticket is going to be good okay this is one is going to be rationing code um, also, these are these are good ones. So as you can see here, the ones that I've sold out are mostly the summon tickets. Uh, I still have to this refreshes in two days, so I have to get these at least two. Uh, I don't know if I could, you know, ultimately get these out, but definitely the tickets you should get. Uh, revision application is also good to get. It's cheaper at the hundred um, rationing code. Quantum Cell and Silver Buck is good. Especially if you're running out of Silver Buck, you could actually get your Silver Buck here. Okay, so Logistics Officers. Okay, um, the currency here are usually, you know, are usually within the game. Uh, it's usually within the content of the game. So try to, I won't go into that. Try to, what do you call this? Try to explore more about the game on where to get the currency for this. This one is if you... These are where you buy your logistics, some of the more common logistics that you could farm. You could buy them here, especially if you have these. These personal limit, you could also get in an event or when you recycle a logistic. Logistics, this one is also a store. This is our more on, I think, your limited logistics. So this one is also, I think, um, when you recycle i'm not sure don't quote me on that this one is for when you recycle really your heroes your shards you can actually if you recycle a or uh, orange tier you'll get an orange tier modified mori segments and if you recycle a a purple tier you get original mori segments okay so weapon exchange this one if you recycle weapons um it's it's gonna give you 10 10 of these uh, weapon component so to purchase a weapon definitely you have to own one first before you can purchase here uh but if you want to purchase copies you can purchase it here but it's going to take it's going to be pretty much expensive if you haven't pulled a lot of extra or dupes for your account so data resource so this is a uh, conversion and this one is a fun shop to get this one is usually paid so this is, this you get in the daily path no the monthly i think th there's a monthly subscription for this and a daily you know daily drop for for the item so again this is depending on if you like these items or if you'd like to spend for the game so those are my tips for the regular shop um i've gone too long with this guide um again i don't want to stay long but the last one is definitely the base okay my my tip for the base is do make sure that you get the daily random event that's needed in your daily you know daily things to do increase trust give a gift i won't delve much as you for example go through the dorm you can actually go through the the items that you can give them so um as you can see one of nine or any given her one gift and for the rest um some some of them i already gave a lot of gifts already so definitely you should give them gifts because it gives them additional stats so again keeps them you know keeps them more happy and healthy so um caroline here is going to be your you know uh, gonna give you events weekly usually starts on a monday info search exchange this um what i'm i'm actually bringing you the here because you get to get more um not starbuck but um the 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 currency for the game starbuck star star cash forgot what it is but uh, no, it's going to be silver buck. So the silver buck is going to give you more or less, um, um, more, sorry, silver buck you can get from 
the base as well with Caroline there. Uh, you can get additional if you're actually farming. And what else? I think that's it uh, in a nutshell. If I stay long, this video is going to be very, very long. So it's going to keep it under probably 30 minutes and we're good. So guys, I hope you, you know, you try the game out, install and enjoy the game. Um, this is just a quick guide for you, a quick starter for you so that you won't be left in the dark. Um, the game is very easy to play. It's fun to play and not really that hard. So again, not and also not really hard to learn. So if you have more specific questions on or if you're a beginner, please put it down in the comments. I'd love to answer all of your queries. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.